Hi everyone, it's Margaret and I'm so 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 happy to finally get you some really cool looks together. I want to show you guys this look because there's a couple of things that I was completely inspired by and one for the fact that I I'm using some amazing products that I just received from Face Atelier and if you guys don't know about them you ought to go check it out because they are fantastic and amazing their foundations are just I mean I can't I can't tell you how wonderful they are and also the color stuff is fantastic too but very classy very classical stuff so what I'm doing is I'm using a lot of the Face Atelier products that I received and I'm combining it with the Prada look that um, I got so inspired by with the runway shows and also their ads. I love all the stuff that they're doing and so I'm kind of combining my two inspirations from the wonderful products by Face Atelier and the cool fashion look of Prada and what they're doing in this season and I just wanted to give you my take and inspiration on it. So what, I'm do what I did is um, obviously I used the amazing foundation by Fel uh, Face Atelier and I already set the face and everything and so I'm using the highlighting and this is a really subdued color. It's very, very, um, how would I put it, very ethereal but very fashion forward and very um, feminine and fresh but very natural such a great look for someone who's really into fashion but doesn't want to overdo it with makeup and great for a bride who wants to look super pretty but not too heavy so what I'm doing is I'm I, I'm putting the lighter colors on first and I put a shimmer kind of pearl powder on the brow bone and now I'm putting on the lid and I lined it actually on the lower lid lower liner um, lash line and as a liner and it's just really pretty really really pretty and see how I'm just creating a little bit of a metallic kind of sparkle effect on the on the lid see everything's very subtle but I'm really using textures and so I'm using textures by way of like shimmer and um, and matte so it really creates a real good a variation of dimension and I'm not going off with the heavy colors or anything like that. It's a really pretty color. And if you really know how to lay the, the textures appropriately, then you really know that you can, you're going to get a lot more dimension out of the look. So I'm actually now dusting the inner part of the crease with a, just a soft, mauvey, taupey kind of flat color. So that way it just kind of pulls everything together but it also gives it some depth of feel. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of that highlighting powder and I'm mixing it with a little bit of a mauve color as well and I'm going underneath that light white color I put underneath the lash line. So now I'm going to put a little bit of um, fallout powder just um, so that it doesn't fall all over the face. So here I'm going to go right here. Underneath again, the lash line has the light white pearly. Underneath that, I'm going in with like a little bit of, of a mauve taupey color. And it has a little bit more of a metallic feel still, but it's just more of a, it's more matte compared to the, the pearl eyes. So you see the play on textures. I've been doing that a lot, I noticed. And it, it's something that I think is really great because right now the way everything is so deconstructed and everyone's kind of going with really natural feels with a pop of color. And so, you know, by using texture products, not so much of heavy colors, but just knowing how to place the color, the textures appropriately, you get a lot more payout with the effect. So really, that's really how simple the, the shadow is. So now I'm going to go into the brows and I'm defining the brows really, um, you know, putting some strength in the brows, if you will, you know, so that way it's um, pulled together a look, you know, rather than just kind of all over natural. Um, the brows really kind of add that value of pulled together feel. So, you know, I mean, you can actually not 
do anything with the brow, especially because Emma has such great natural brows and she could totally, you know, get away with not doing anything and then just grooming them up a little bit. But I wanted to actually add more value to this look because the look is already so natural and so ethereal that I wanted to add some glam um, effect to it by really defining the brows a little bit more. And this is what to me makes it a little more runway. Um, and also like, you know, you, like I said earlier, you can even use this on a bride and it's that clean and pretty and it photographs beautifully. Or you can just wear it like even to the office or to a party. I mean, this is such a versatile look and it's a great look for someone who's totally not into doing a lot of makeup but still wants to, you know, be able to be fashionable and hip and clean and, and you know has that kind of effect you know so and you can pair this with a really beautiful evening gown or some a t-shirt and jeans I mean it's so versatile this look so you definitely can you know play around with this so here I'm just kind of defining the brows again and you know and again once again I am using amazing products by Face Atelier and if you guys do not know about them you need to because if you are into makeup, they are definitely a go-to brand. Such amazing products. I am so, 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 so in love with them. Um, everything I've used is beyond amazing. The foundation is, I can't tell you how fascinating I am with it. All of the foundations. I mean, every formulation they have, everything is just fantastic. You can even run it through an airbrush. It's amazing, you know, if you use it with a mixing medium. It's unbelievable. Their shadows are beautiful. Their lip glosses, their lip glazes are beautiful. Everything, their cheap, everything. You gotta try it out, check it out. It is so amazing. And I'm, I'm not getting paid to make this announcement. I'm telling you because I love it. And I just want you guys to be able to enjoy the things that I'm enjoying that they sent me, so. Okay, so. I'm using that color blush by Fake Face Atelier and it has a little bit of a gold shimmer and this is so pretty because it's soft but it really 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 creates such a nice feel to to the skin and it's such a nice thing so what I'm doing first is I'm brushing off the fallout powder and I'm adding a little bit of a shimmer just a kind of a, a neutral shimmer just to uh, an effect to bring out the upper part of the cheekbone. And so now I'm gonna put, dust it with the Face Atelier powder right on the ledge of her cheeks. And I'm just kind of making her sink her cheeks in like, I always say make like a fish. And look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. It's just so soft and very elegant. And when you combine it with a little bit of that highlighting powder on the top of the apples of the cheek, it really does have a nice pairing to it. And I'm going a little bit more deeper on the blush because I think it really does allow the naturalness of the lids to really kind of have a little bit more of a support. Um, and it brings out the textures and it's so pretty. This is such an angelic look. Now, if you guys are interested in learning how to do all these tricks of the trade and really learn how to become, you know, really talented makeup artist you know definitely and interested in, in getting trained you can definitely go to my online training class at www.mkcbeautyacademy.com and take the online certification program and also I do private classes so you can go on there as well www.mkcbeautyacademy.com and click on for uh, private training or you can do a blended training whatever but you know if you're interested in really doing this and taking it seriously and seriously I only want to really teach the people that are serious about this because I'm going to definitely teach you in the way that I think um, you would ever want to be taught and that's the thing and my students really really when they leave they do embark on a great career so that's my intention for any student that takes my class or gets trained under me, or takes the online training. The online training is really intense. You know, it's a really intense training. Don't think that just because you don't come here, you won't get trained. The online training is fantastic. So, 
anyway check it out but anyway going back to this I want you guys to also get inspired you get a little feel of what I teach and who I am as an artist and here I'm really really just giving you a little bit of my inspiration of what Prada is doing this season and I'm featuring my, one of my favorite product lines that I am loving right now and that's Face Atelier and I just want you guys to get really really inspired by all of this so what I'm doing is obviously I'm putting super 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 black mascara just because this is such a really soft look that it does need something to support the lash, the lids you know and when I'm not putting any liner or anything like that the, the, the best way to really get more payout around the support of the lid is using a really good mascara so I'm using a really really super black mascara and I'm using a full head brush and that's going to help create more lusciousness out of the the lashes and that's really what I'm doing I'm trying to create more lush effect on the lashes and not over obviously overdoing it but in a way where it's just really supporting the the eyes in a really pretty way and in a very classy way and see how that is it's just you can see how everything is starting to really um, melt together so I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here um, get a little mascara going on so this is when you see any kind of a mistake clean it up right away and fix it and go right back into it and you'll never know so and so there we are look how pretty that is so I'm using one of my favorite lip glosses is called lip glaze by face atelier and that's the color it's a very pinky color and I am just going to this has a lot of pigment in it so but yet it's still a gloss and yet it still has transparency but enough color where it really does make a statement and it's really pretty the formulation is just fantastic um, whatever they're doing with the formulation it's it's spot on and it's a really great company it's quality and so I love it I love the way it feels I love the way you know for me as a consumer I love it you know just wearing it keeping it in my bag and as a professional it is so awesome to have in my kit and they have such great natural like the, their their feel is like to me very natural feeling it doesn't have that real artificially feel that some lip glosses has and this is just so it's such a beautiful look and and the payout is so beautiful you know and you'll see as I'm putting this on you'll see how pretty it is it is on the lips and how it just really kind of puts the whole look together and and yet even as you know if you just you put it on with your fingertip it's great you get that kind of kind of you know more natural bohemian effect but when you put it on with a, a lip brush as I'm doing like a lipstick you really can get some really nice texture out of it more of a lipstick slash gloss and look how pretty that is I just love this look you guys try it out please practice this look and you know don't be afraid to wear this at your most sophisticated events or as well just hanging out with your friends going to the movies and having a nice bite to eat I mean this is such a versatile look and look how pretty it is look how gorgeous Emma looks wearing it and she's got such amazing skin so you know it, everything really pops out really nicely of course but just having the subtleties of the texture using amazing products like Face Atelier and having a really great inspiration this is what makes a really beautiful look and so I hope you guys all try this definitely try the products definitely try the look and stay tuned thanks for watching if you like it please like it if you want more become a subscriber and share okay and I'll see you soon I have a lot more coming and I thank you very much for watching see you soon bye